we are here to talk about Bulgarian language. Uh, and maybe now we introduce uh, in short. So I can start. I'm Paweł and I'm a teacher from Poland. Ziemowit, tell about you something. I'm Ziemowit and I was in school with uh, Mr. Paweł and Amelia and Jakub. And I think that I know Amelia and Jakub for uh, 12 years. And do you speak Bulgarian? <laughs> No, but I was in Bulgaria uh, in, once. In, once. In which city? Uh, <laughs> uh, Złote Piaski. Ah, Golden, Golden Sands. Sands. Go yeah, yeah. In, in, in Bulgaria, Bulgaria, yes. I was in the same city uh, as Zimowit and Amelia. Golden Sands, uh, Złote Piaski in Polish, and in Bulgaria it's something Piasici? Piasici? Zlatni Piasoci. Um, almost the same. Amelia, tell about uh, you. Okay, I'm Amelia. I'm 19 years old and I'm uh, right now in high school. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and you were in Bulgaria once? Yes, with Zimovit. <laughs> okay. We were on summer camp. Okay. And Jakub. And it's very Fun. Hi, so I'm Jakub. I was well 19 zero years old and uh, we knew each other for like 12 years. Uh, I've never been to Bulgaria actually, at least I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks. And Victor, tell about you something. I'm Victor, I'm 30 years old. I was born in Bulgaria, but uh, I lived half my life in Canada, so I grew up there. And a couple of years ago, I came back to Bulgaria and I live in the capital now. I'm not from the capital, but I moved to the capital now and uh, I'm having a great time, to be honest. It's a nice place, especially the seaside. Yeah, golden sands and all that stuff. So the first question for me is, uh, uh, what are these characteristic features of Bulgarian language which distinguish uh, Bulgarian language from other languages, other Slavic languages? Because uh, our project is about Slavic languages. So what are these characteristic features, Victor? Well, first of all, we have pretty much eliminated, eliminated cases. Uh, there used to be maybe a century or so ago, but Bulgarian has been standardized to such an extent that we have, apart from Macedonian, the least amount of letters. So th the most straightforward letters. So basically almost all of them are uh, inherent from the Greek origins of the Cyrillic alphabet in the first place. Uh, so it's a simpler alphabet, we have no cases, and we have definite articles, which since we used to have cases in our uh, in Bulgarian is a Slavic language, the definite article follows the same idea as if you would apply uh, a case ending. So if you have a word such as Mesto, which means uh, town or city in Polish, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. And it means yeah, place. Yeah. It in means Polish place miejsce. in Bulgarian. In Polish, yeah. miasto is city and miesto is a place, but it's quite similar. Oh, okay. So let's say miasto. Mm -hmm. uh, in order to put the definite article, you just say miasto to, since it's neuter. You just add a little uh, thing at the end and you have a definite article. Instead of having six, seven cases, you just have definite articles in it. It's it's easier to be honest. Yeah, in Polish, do you know how many cases uh, do we have in Polish? Yeah, of course, too many. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's uh, six or seven. Seven, seven. We have seven. I think there is no a possibility to have more because I think seven is the the highest number. I don't know any language uh, having more cases. Do you know Zimovit, Amelia, Jakub? I don't know. But you you are right. Too many language, too many cases. It's sometimes quite difficult, even for Polish people, to distinguish all these cases. You know? We also have a, a case that that I think it's typical for Slavic languages, which is the vocative case. So uh, you have that too, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but, yeah. Which is basically when you call somebody by name, you add something to the end. 
but it's only for the vocative case, not if that an object belongs to that person or something like that, which you, you would use in Polish. So if a friend of mine wants to call me Victor, they won't say Victor, they would say Victore, but only for, for that vocative case when somebody wants to be called. Uh, so my second question, uh, Victor, is uh, what is the most similar language uh, to Bulgarian language, uh, in your opinion? Well, obviously Macedonian, but... Uh, uh, besides that one, Serbian is really close. I can pretty much understand 80% of Serbian. I would probably compare how close Serbian and Bulgarian are to maybe Polish and Czech. I'm not sure how different Polish and Czech are, but I'm pretty sure they're very similar, right? Uh, Polish like how and Slovak, is maybe it? Slovak uh, is more similar, but Czech as well is quite similar. Slovak is more similar. And Ukrainian, Ukrainian and Belarusian. Uh, this this language is uh, how intelligible would you say they are from uh, one i think 60 percent maybe 70 60 70 percent it depends maybe uh, about uh, what are talking uh, about like you know what that what is the topic <laughs> it depends I, I can easily have a conversation in bulgarian with somebody who who was saying something in Serbian. We can actually have a conversation. So it's pretty it's pretty close. M much closer Bulgarian and Serbian than Bulgarian and Russian, for example. Because, you know, it's for me, like I, I know a little bit Russian. So many Bulgarian words uh, um, seems to me quite uh, similar to Russian, but maybe it's for me only, but I don't know. No, it's true. Since uh, Bulgaria was uh, such a long time under Ottoman rule, and because we have the same uh, Cyrillic script as the Russians, uh, during that time and afterwards, when we were liberated by them, a lot of cultural elite and a lot of books uh, were in Russian or using uh, their a lot of influence. So a, a lot of uh, words in today Bulgaria today vocabulary are Russian words. So it's it's uh, it, there are a lot of words that are close to each other, but just the vocabulary. I cannot have a conversation with a person who is Russian if I've never spoken Russian before, compared to somebody who's Serbian no. or Macedonian or Macedonian. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, about alphabet, uh, are there any unique letters in uh, Bulgarian alphabet? Like, for example, I know that Serbian alphabet has some unique letter like uh, Macedonian as well and Bulgarian does or not? We used to. Uh, and since uh, Bulgaria was the birthplace of the Cyrillic script, which is a weird name for it because it was not invented by Cyrillus and Methodius, the two saints that it, it's named after, uh, up until, well, to be, to be fair, culturally in terms of, of grammar and and, and just general literature will be going more or less hand in hand with how uh, the Russians do it. We, so we've eliminated a lot, if not all of the unique letters to Bulgarian at the same time as, as the Russians have eliminated a lot of them besides the backwards A and a couple of others. But uh, yeah, we've eliminated a lot of them, especially uh, when Bulgaria fell uh, under communist rule in 1945. We eliminated another couple ones, so it's it's very standardized. There aren't any unique letters anymore, like zero. <laughs> so uh, Bulgarian alphabet is quite similar to other uh, Cyrillic alphabets, yeah, like Russian, like uh, Serbian, like Macedonian, with some differences. No, there there is no difference. Uh, all of the Bulgarian letters appear in the Russian script. Mm -hmm. Okay, I and only I think. The, the heart sign, mm -hmm. which is the flipped R with, little, mm -hmm. with a little tail, is not in the Serbian and Macedonian versions, but it's been part of uh, Cyrillic alphabet ever since it was invented, the heart and the soft sign. So we, we have the most standardized. We don't, we don't have unique letters anymore. It, and they're really straightforward. So, mm -hmm. okay. And it's not like in Russian, like you have the O and depending on uh if it has an accent or yeah, not yeah, it's pronounced yeah. uh we don't have that yes no. it's quite it's quite diff so uh, the as i watch your uh, youtube video uh, from your youtube channel uh, you uh, said that the bulgarian language is the easiest uh, of the slavic languages 
It is a provocative statement because uh, I'm pretty sure a Polish person wouldn't argue that it's the easiest Slavic language, but maybe Serbians, maybe Macedonians, Croatians, maybe they, they'll say that Bulgarian is not the easiest. But for me, it's the, mo it's the most straightforward because it's, how should I say? It has definite articles, one. No other Slavic language besides Macedonian has that. It doesn't have cases. So all other ones besides Macedonian I'm not saying it's better uh, from a linguistic standpoint. I would say having cases makes the language much more easier, colorful easier. and accurate. But having just one word or one thing that you add to the word for all cases is generally easier. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, especially when you are learning this language. Yeah. Of course. So uh, sorry because I interrupt you. So you you wanted to say something more. Uh, no, I think that was it. Okay, okay. Okay, Victor. So, uh, could you tell us something more about Bulgarian language or we are starting uh, our quiz, our challenge? I, I wanted to give you some uh, so, some context about about Slavic languages in general. Um, okay, okay. Obviously, Bulgaria is not the originator of the Slavic language. In my opinion, the true old ancient Slavic language probably originated somewhere around uh, modern day Poland or something like that, because there are a lot of um, particularities to Slavic languages in general that are preserved in Polish versus in Bulgarian. For example, you have the L with the little diagonal sign, and if it's there, it's pronounced W, w if it's not it's pronounced L, correct? Yeah, yeah, correct. We don't have that differentiation in standardized Bulgarian today, but since all standardized language has been standardized from a certain place, okay, now everybody's going to speak like this. If you go around Bulgaria, you will find places with, where people generally pronounce it words more l or more w, but it's not it's not documented in the official language. So I think that's, for example, one particularity that that Polish has kept. Instead of saying, okay, now it's all going to be w or all going to be l. Uh, the actual grammar reflects that. Uh, and because we used to have letters too, that you have one letter and in the East it's pronounced ya, yeah, in the West it's pronounced e, eh, just to, just to um, preserve that colorfulness, that, that nuance to the language that not everybody speaks exactly the same. Okay, I understand. Besides that, um, so Bulgaria is not the originator of the Slavic language, but the first uh, Slavic script, the glacolitic script, uh, came from Greek scholars in that area, which didn't take hold for the Slavic language, but the subsequent one created by Clement of Ohrid, which is Ohrid, the uh, present day Macedonia, he was the one who ended up uh, uh, making a simpler version of that one, basing it mainly on the Greek alphabet and with religious purposes, obviously. So the Old Church Slavonic or the Bulgarian at that time was the fourth language that the Bible was officially translated in. So it was Latin, Hebrew, uh, Greek, and Old Church Slavonic or Church Slavonic or Bulgarian, um, which is uh, why they rushed to do it is because they wanted to integrate a lot of the Slavic population there to the Orthodox Church and to the Eastern Roman Empire. So politics, basically, one of the reasons why uh, the Western Slavs, such as uh, Poland and Czech, are Catholic and write in Latin because they joined the other side. And uh, yeah, throughout the centuries, uh, I think uh, R Russians mostly took up the, the reins of, of the development of the Slavic literature and, and letters and stuff like that. So it's been out of Bulgaria's hands for a while. So we've been following their trend, but it's cool to know that this place in the Balkans was actually where the first attempts to uh, have a standardized written Slavic uh, script uh, originated from. Yeah, because uh, as I know, uh, Bulgarian Cyrillic is older older than uh, Russian Cyrillic, yeah, because Bulgaria was- Well, now it's the same, now it's the same. But back in the day, there was first a Bulgarian script before there was a Russian one, but now it's, it's irrelevant. Mm -hmm. okay. What's important is that there is a, I'm pretty sure there's a Cyrillic version for Polish, but nobody wants to use it. <laughs> Uh, uh, Victor, uh, in Bulgaria, do you use uh, Latin alphabet uh, often? No, no never. Really? No. Because as I know in Serbia, like in Serbia, there is uh, officially Cyrillic, but they use uh, 
more often uh, a Latin. They use Latin because of the the Western part of former Yugoslavia, where yeah. where they have Catholics and and, and Latin. But in Bulgaria, it's it's all Cyrillic. All Cyrillic. Even even the globalization and other uh, other things don't influence this. Like you know, inter uh, internet and you know. There is no official Latin version of Bulgarian, uh, but uh, I think there are. I know there are EU regulations of um, Cyrillic script languages, how they should be transcribed into Latin, mm -hmm. but there is no official Latin Bulgarian, unlike uh, Serbia and Croatia. So we can start maybe our challenge. So yeah, we... gotovi. Gotovi, gotovi. Yeah. How to say in Bulgarian, uh, uh, ready, gotovi? Uh, in plural, gotovi. Gotovi. In Polish, the same. Gotovi. In mm -hmm. in in singular, gotovi. Gotovi and mm -hmm. gotovi. Yeah. So we is gotovi. Me gotovi. Tak. Na tazi snimka ima mnogo plažni čedri. Ima v djasno more, a v dalečinata se vidi i planina. Ima jeden golem basen po sredata, da je dvojen. Има алея, патека, асфалт, която разделя плажа от uh, резорта, курорта. Should I continue? Uh, I, I know, I think I know. Uh, do you know? I think I know too. Вече? То я кто ще Yeah, I think I know. Добре, yeah. so you can write on the end show, maybe. Uh, I think it's number three. Should I give some uh, more clues? Just in case. Uh, I think it's number three. Zimavit, może trochę bliżej, bo nie widać, co tam było. Większe te cyfry wysył. A trójk, a może na palcach są nie trzy. Tak. tak, tak. To w sumie można zamiast na karcie, to na palcach, bo są tylko cztery. No, trzy, trzy. A, Amelia też trójka, trzy i Kuba, a ty? Trzy. Oh. Okej, okay. a teraz, uh, uh, okej, okay. Wiktor, we are right? Okay. Zgadliśmy, Wie wiemy? Uh, no, da, da. Toczno. To, to znachty. A, poznali to po polsku, pozna, poznaliśmy. Ok, a teraz mm -hmm. now, uh, Jemowit, what did you understand? Co zrozumiałeś? Co rozumiałeś? I understand, understood that there is a pool, there is a beach, there's a sea, a kuror, hotels, and... Kurort, kurort. A, as, no, kurort, tylko nie wiedziałem, czy kurort to po, po, po angielsku to będzie kurort, czy nie. <laughs> like... Po polsku też. No. And asphalt, and that's all. Uh, uh, what I, I think uh, you said, uh, and there are uh, planiny, góry, in Polish góry, uh, mountains, yeah. mountains in, in the, in the uh, background. And you said like there is a one pool, but divided into two, something like this. And uh, this road, asphalt road is uh, dividing a beach from the courtyard. And there are on the beach, there are like um, chairs or something like this. I don't know. Uh, Plajin Chadur, uh, beach umbrella. Uh, umbrella, it's umbrella, not chair. Okay. Chadur. Chadur, Chadur umbrella. In Polish, mm -hmm. parasol, parasol. Well, that's not very Polish, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. So I think it was it was uh, the first was what quite easy. So maybe now uh, now maybe you will describe one of this photo in Polish for Victor and Victor will try to guess. Mm. No dobra. To słychać mnie już, tak? Mm -hmm. Po środku widać chyba to jest taki duży kościół. Wydaje mi się, że pewnie prawosławny, bo to Bułgaria. W tle widać góry. No i wokół niego jest Droga asfaltowa i jeszcze pomiędzy tymi górami i kościołem albo cerkwią yy, znajduje, się, znajduje się dużo budynków. No i nie jest to taki typowy miejski yy, krajobraz, ponieważ są jeszcze drzewa, lasy. Wiktor. Uh, Edin. Numer Edin. Prawie nowe. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, then in Polish, yeah, then. Uh, what did you understand? Yeah, well, as soon as he said, uh, Pravoslavne, Cerkva, Gura, uh, uh, he even said, uh, Treva, mm -hmm, which is grass, right? Treva is, is, is tree. 
Trees. Say again. Uh, Jeva means trees. Ah, trees. Jeva. Trees. Yeah. Yeah. Like the Dereva in, in Bulgarian, how to say uh, tree? Uh, Derev? No. In Russian, it's Dereva. Uh, Darveta. Darveta. Uh, in Polish, you Dereva. Say, yeah. yeah, if you say Darva, it's more like uh, when the, they're actually like lumber. Yeah, like yeah. In, in, in Polish, Drevno. Drevno is wood. Drevno. Yeah, the same. The, Almost. So yeah, and in Himov it said uh budinki, buildings, buildings. Like dom. Zgradi. Gra zgradi. A dom zgradi. How, how to say dom in Bulgarian? Dom like uh, house. Uh dom means home. H home, yeah. Home. A house is a kushta. A kushta. Uh, in, in Polish is the same. Dom dom uh, only one there is only one word for house. House and home are, are the same. Polish. Oh, okay. We have Kushta, but uh, Dom is home, literally. That's the only thing it's used for the home. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Uh, so the next category, uh, następna kategoria in Polish. And in Bulgarian, the next category. Sledvashta kategoria. Oh, okay. Sledvashta, like the same like in Serbian. <laughs> Following. Yeah. Yeah. Is your assembly slides, right? Tak, tak. So do I go now? Uh, yeah, to Zimowit, okay. Następna kategoria, ludzie, in Polish, ludzie. In Bulgarian, ludi, something like that. Uh, uh, ludi, but uh, it's, uh, it's, it's an old word. People will understand you, but today it's uh, chora. Chora, ah. People. But if you say ludi, people will understand you, mm -hmm. for sure. Okay. So, Victor. Окей, okay, так. Uh, на тази снимка виждаме една голяма река. Uh, има няколко кончета, които са украсени с uh, бойни... Uh, По-скоро са бойни коне. Виждаме и някои войни, няколко войни, древни български войни, uh, които, ако не се лъжа на тази картинка, Uh, получават независимостта си от Византия и следователно им предават Орел, че са победени. Uh, реката се казва Дунав, ако не се лъжа, когато един български владетел или хан пристига. Окей, окей. Мор. Okay, I think uh, it's for me it's enough. I think okay. For so we can show I think uh, what I think it's uh, number 2. <laughs> In Polish yeah. Two. yeah. Amelia and you? Dva. Okay, Kuba, what did you understand? Kuba. I understand something about uh Voini, I think that was uh, a voini means like voin, uh, like war, soldiers, knights. Yeah, warriors. Soldiers. War, uh, warriors, warriors. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's, uh, there was something about uh, like standing uh, and giving something to the, the soldiers. Yeah, predavam davam to give. Yeah, like a homage, something like homage, something like this. I don't know. Uh, and I think you said about uh, reka, reka, uh, river. Yes. Reka in Polish, rzeka, rzeka. Yeah. In Bulgarian, it's like the same like in Russian, reka, reka. It's similar to reka, reka. Well, you, if you remove the little accent in Polish, it's also going to be reka. So it's yeah, pretty yeah, much the same yeah, word. Yeah, because like we, we have uh, many letter, many words with z, I think. Not with R. Yeah, but and what else? And you said about the Han, you said something about the Han, like uh, one of the. Yeah, the ruler, Vladetel. Vladetel. How do you Vladetel. say ruler? Uh, Vladca. Vladca. Yeah, Vladca. the same root. The Vladeja. same, yeah, the same root, yeah. V like uh, Woods or, or Woods, Woods, Woods or Vladca. Woods, it can be. Mm, what else? You said something like Kraseni. Kraseni, uh, like. Uh, Ukrashenie, decoration. Ah, decoration. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, I wanted to say that uh, these are um, warrior horses. They're war horses. Ah, I like how to say horse. In Polish, is koń. Kon. 
Ah, the same. So you yeah. said you said con? Ah. Kone. Ah, kone, kone. In Polish, in Polish, konie, konie, konie. So, but, but How do you say plural? Uh, kon, one and uh, two, uh, dwa konie. Dwa konie. Trzy konie, cztery, pięć. So plural is konie. Uh, yeah. So, okay, so now our turn, Amelia, now is your turn. You will uh, describe one uh, photo in Polish. No dobrze, o, w takim razie y, na obrazku znajdują, znajduje się kilka kobiet razem z dziećmi, które trzymają flagę Bułgarii, są ubrane w y, narodowe, odświętne stroje i stoją na łące, gdzie z tyłu są drzewa. Czy jeszcze coś więcej do powiedzieć? Może o, o kolorach powiedz, jak są, jakie kolory są? E, są? Te stroje są czerwone, mają też białe barwy. E, widzę tam wyhaftowane jakieś wzorki i we włosach mają kwiatki. Kwiaty, może tam nie ma, nie wiem, czy w bułgarskim są zdrobnienia. No okej, okay, Wiktor. Uh, jedyn, number one. Okay, okay, of course it's number one. And what did you understand? Uh, I have to be fair, if I had no knowledge of Polish, I probably wouldn't understand anything. But since I do understand a little bit, uh, she started speaking, Amelia started speaking that there are uh, children. Uh, and uh, then she... Dzieci. Yes, dzieci, uh, deca in Bulgarian, dete singular, deca plural. Uh, uh, she said that the flag is there. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I think wonce or wonka, or wonce that they're in, in the sun. <laughs> so it was uh, like wonka is this grass, the field of grass. How, how to say it in Bulgarian? Like like no, or animals feed like ah uh, uh, livada. Ah livada. So it's different. It's different, and uh, yeah, and uh, so yeah, I heard that. Uh, I heard um, that they have a uh, uh, white. Uh, I don't even know how to say it in English. Uh, Zabratka in Bulgarian, uh, and that they have krasne kwiatki or something yeah, like kwiat, that, which kwiat. is I think it's flowers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that they're all uh, lined in a in a in a line. Yeah, stroy so stroyni wafret. Ah, stroj, no, stroj is something different, Amelia, I think, stroj, stroj like stroj is a cloth, uh, stroj, okay. yeah, like stroj means clothes, like uh, dresses or something others, so it, it has different meaning. A stroj, stroj is like clothes? Yeah, 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 clothes, like, uh, yeah. Yeah, and, and uh, kobiety, Amelia said kobiety, kobiety is women, women. Kobieta is a woman. Žena in Bulgarian. And stroj literally means like order. Order. Uh, in uh, Bulgarian. Yeah. So I thought it was like maybe because they were, you know, aligned and stuff. Yeah. But in, in this picture, it's, a, it's, it's, it's accurate. <laughs> it it's, 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 uh, fits to this picture. The next category. Następna kategoria. Krajobraz, pejzaż. Pe we can say pejzaż. It's not Polish word. It's, I think it's French word, pejzaż. And in Bulgarian? Uh, Pejzaż. Pejzaż. Okay, so French word is... Oh, a lot of French words. Yeah, in Polish we, we have more uh, German words because we are... You are closer, yeah. Yeah, we are uh, close it, to German. Yeah. Because at the end of the 19th century, even in Russia, the, the, the language of the elites was a lot of French. Yeah. Uh, there are still, uh, during the Bulgarian Renaissance, early 20th century, everything was in French. So shop names, uh, train stations, yeah, they when, still have signs, salle d'attente, so a lot yeah, of to French. Be, to be honest with you, when I was in uh, Bulgaria, maybe Zimovit and Amelia also uh, noticed this, uh, to say thank you in Bulgarian, you can say blagodaria and you can say merci, merci. Yeah. So when I when I saw, when I saw like, when I heard uh, when people were, were uh, speaking like merci, merci, I thought that maybe they are French or something, but then I checked that merci is the same as uh, blagodaria. Yeah? It's quite... Uh, yeah, Bulgarian, another thing that differentiates it is it has a lot of Turkish words and has a lot of French words, but mostly for um, like 
cultural and furniture stuff. And a lot of the industrial and automotive words are German. So all kinds of tools or car parts. Uh, yeah. Okay. Tazi картинка виждаме заснежени борчета. В далечината виждаме сиви облаци, а под тях едно малко китно селце, вероятно в България, не знам. Но най-лесно ще бъде, като погледнете снежните борчета, върху които има сняг. А, и далечните селца след това, което е най-близо в а, равнината. I think, I think that was pretty easy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I think it's uh, four. In Polish, four. Is it more than four, Jakub? Four. Four. Yep. Four. Ah, Jakub, uh, I think it's it's two. I was But... not sure if what if it if it was a uh, second or four if a uh, four picture because you said something about. Snežne uh, boki or something like that. And yeah, I emphasize I the that snow. that this is the snow on, on the mountains, the the part, the not the whole is snowed, but the part of the mountains are in the snow. I should have said the uh, drveta. You, you you would have guessed then. Ah, uh, drveta means drzeva, uh, tree. Okay, Amelia, uh, what did you understand? Uh, I truly understand nothing, but at the beginning on <laughs> uh, when you were saying, I understood that you said zasnieżeni uh, or something like that, and then yeah. I know, yeah, it's a uh, fourth picture. In Polish, we said zasnieżony. Zasnieżony. Yeah, covered in snow. Covered in snow, yeah. yeah. And you say siwy, 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 obloci, to in Polish is siwy obłoki, obłoki, like uh, clouds, Ob- obłoki, chmury, we can say also chmury, obłoki. Obłoki, that's spelled O, B, L with the... Yeah, yeah, this, no, eh? this, uh, yeah, this, yes, oblo, ob, obłok, obłok, like oblok, oblok in, in Bulgaria, nie? Oblak. Yeah. Oblak, 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 but it's quite the same. To drveta, 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 yeah, like these uh, trees, zasnieżeni drveta. Well, And... I said the borcheta, so pine trees. Bor ah. is a pine tree. Borche, it's a little pine tree. Ah, yeah. And plural, borcheta. I probably should have used Derveta, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, and you said about Blizu, something in Blizu and uh, something like uh, about the, the landscape, like... Uh, um, Like it ravnina. is ravnina, ravnina. In Polish, so, we said ravnina, ravnina. Yeah, flat. Well, flat, I was thinking yeah. that there's a village in the distance uh, and one close by uh, in the yeah. in the. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. How is village? Uh, village is selo. Selo. In Polish, we say wieś, uh, wieś. Uh, uh, but selo is uh, old, uh, old in old Polish, old Polish language, like in the. Um, Like 16th, 17th century, it was Shewo, 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 like Shewo like, or shell, shell, something like this. But nowadays people use, uh, you know, modern words. So, but do you use uh, that root maybe in something else? For example, how would you say a populated city? For example, the Seleno Miasto? Uh, Hmm, I think not. I think not. Maybe she, like Shelanka, Shelanka, it like or Shelski, like uh, it, it means like uh, what does it mean in Polish Shelski? Amelia Kubaj, like, like, like. Ja się nie wiem dokładnie, co to znaczy, ale Shelski to kojarzy mi się z czymś takim beztroskim, myślę. No, no tak się mówi. Te, to, no też, też, też. Ale też taki związany ze wsią. Wiejski, tak. spokojny. Wiejski, wiejski, tak. To po angielsku wow. wiejski, jak powiedzieć wiejski? Um, like, Shelski means connected with village. Like, ha, the ad, adjective. Like you would say, Shelski road, Shelski put. Yes, yeah, like, Shelski, yeah, yeah, like something like connected with village, yeah. So, Kuba. Yeah, uh, could you describe one of these photos for Victor? Okay. So, tak. Uh, na zdjęciu widzimy wodospad i ogólnie ta jakby kraina jest taka 
Myślę, że zdjęcie zostało zrobione podczas jesieni. Widać na środku młyn z kołem takim wodnym. Są też dwa duże jakieś kamienie. I ogólnie takie widać taką jakby, że wszystko tam się rusza. Nie wiem, czy jeszcze mam mówić. No. Victor, do you know or something more? Uh, I think it's number three, because he said uh, waterfall. Yeah. Wodopad Vodo, in Bulgarian. Wodospad in Polish. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Wodopad in Bulgarian. And he said uh, there are two rocks, uh, dwa kamen, dwa yeah. kamaka yeah, uh, yeah. in Bulgarian. And I think you said, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Ruche or something like a small river. Uh, Kuba? Mówiłem o tym kole wodnym chyba. About the wheel, about the, uh, how to say Muin, uh, about the, this building is a place when you... Mil. A mil, mil, it's a mil, yeah. Wind. Yeah, how do you say mil in Polish? Uh, Muin, Muin. Muena. Muin, mm-hmm. Melnica in Bulgarian. A melnica, like melnica is uh, uh, something to produce... Uh, Produce monk, uh, so flour, to pr- something to produce flour, I think. Well, it's a, literally a mill. Yeah, yeah, but but Kuba uh, said, uh, uh, as I remember, uh, it's it's yeshin, so to is yeshin, season yeshin, uh, like uh, you know. Oh uh, yeah, essen. Essen. Autumn, fall. Autumn, yeah, autumn, autumn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's okay, okay. So the last category, I think. Uh, Ziemowit, uh, ostat- ostatnia kategoria. Zwierzęta, in Polish, zwierzęta. How do you say in Bulgarian? Uh, in I Bulgarian, it's a żywotni. Żywotni, żywotni. Yeah, yeah, from żywot, which means life. Yeah. yeah. Many in, lives. In, <laughs> Polish, in Polish, you can say ż- żywot. Uh, towa żywotno uh, go ima na mnogo uh, znamena na državi. Той е, или то, е царят на джунглата, а, голямо животно с а, рижава или а, жълта грива, с големи зъби и муцуна, а, по-голям, доста по-голям братовчет на днешната котка. А, царя на джунглата. I don't know what else to add. Okay. Okay, uh, so I think uh, maybe Jimavit, uh, do you think what's what animal is this? A papugat is a parrot. Okay, Amelia, what do you think? What is this animal? Uh, I think that is a pantera, a panther. Okay, uh, Jakub, what do you think? Jakub? Okay, I, and I think it's a leaf, leaf in Polish, uh, lion in English. Love in Bulgarian. So exactly. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. What did I, What did I understand? I understand that this animal has. Uh, you said men, dużo, dużo znamena, many, many znamena. So like, uh, but znamena means uh, like it, it's famous. Yeah, no. Na mnogo znamena na državi. Na državi. Na on the body. Flags of countries. It's, it ah, appears on many country flags okay, in Bulgaria. Okay. We have lions in uh, yeah. England. In, so, okay. Yeah. So flag is Dirjava. No, Dirjava is Drzava. country. A Drzava is country. A Zname. Zname is a flag ah. or sign. Ah, okay. So, so you know. Na, uh, plural. Okay, you said Gulamo. Gulamo means uh, it's big, a verb. Large. It's, 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 a, ah, it's large. It's big. Yes. Ah, so, so I think it's something. Okay, you said Jolta, uh, Jolta Griva, Griva, uh, uh, yellow, uh, y- yellow uh, hair. Main. <laughs> ah, in Polish, Griva, Griva, Jolta Griva. Yes. Uh, and you said something Kotka, Kotka, uh, or. Yeah, it's the bigger cousin, uh, much bigger cousin ah, yeah, of a cat. A, yeah, so it's a taki big, big cat. In po- po- Polsku kot, taki duży kot. Uh, oh, wiel- no. wielki, wielki kot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now our turn. Uh, to zwierzę jest duże, wielkie zwierzę. 
tak jak większość tych zwierząt mieszka w Afryce, to zwierzę ma rogi, dwa rogi na nosie. Jego nazwa w ogóle, nazwa tego, imię tego zwierzęcia, tego zwierza pochodzi od tego jego nosa, ale zamiast nosa w miejscu nosa ma róg i też to jest, to jest no duże zwierzę, jest roślinożerne, je pokarm jego to rośliny, też tutaj no, pije wodę, też no tyle chyba, I think it's enough. Yeah, no so rock. No so rock. in Polish nosorożec, nosorożec. Yeah. Like yeah. what, what nos and rook, and rog, rog. Yeah, no so rock. How do, you, how do you even say it in English? Ra uh, rhinoceros. Rhino, yeah. yeah. So I think it's, it's not, it was not difficult. Okay. Tell us uh, maybe some uh, words, uh, like some Bulgarian words, and we will try to guess what they mean. What do you think? Okay. The topic is uh, apartment. Mm -hmm. So apartment. Uh, I'll give you... Three words? Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Okay. So, uh, vrata. Mm -hmm. Vrata. Uh, stall. Stall. And, uh, kuchnia. Kuchnia. Okay. okay. Should be easy. I think I know. Uh, Zimowi Tamelia, Jakub, do you know these words? Uh, I'm not uh, sure about the two. Okay. Amelia, first. maybe. Amelia will start. Amelia. I think the first word uh, is something like door. I don't know, but it was the first which came yep. to my head. The okay. second one is table. And the third one is uh, kitchen. In Polish, kuchnia is the, is the same meaning. Yeah, but <laughs> but stall in Bulgarian actually means chair, not table. Ah, okay, that was a tricky one. <laughs> so in Polish, no, in Russian it's the same, but stall means chair. Yeah, in Polish, stall is uh, stable, chair is krzesło, krzesło. Krzesło in Bulgarian. But how do you say uh, do you say masa then? Masa. masa? Uh, no, like table. Yeah, we say masa for table. Uh, no, like we're we say stool. Stool, stool, stool. And vrata, vrata in Polish, we can say vrota, vrota, but it's mm -hmm. like to the castle, like to the castle, to the fortress. Yeah. To the to house, we say drzwi, drzwi. Drzwi. Like, like, in, like in Russian, dwieri, I think, dwieri, dwieri. Oh, okay, uh, in Bulgarian, it's dvor. And it means um, like a, like dwór. a backyard. In Polish, we say dwór, dwór, dwór. Like when you go uh, from your house, uh, when you go uh, outside, yeah, from the home, you say yeah. you, you I, I, ide, ide, I go ide na dwór. So I go outside. Because this Krakow. Yeah, in Warsaw you tak. say. Yeah, you, in Warsaw, in Warsaw, in but in Krakow, Krakow you say ide na pole. Tak. In Krakow na pole, ide na pole, pole. Do you have word for outside? Just outside? Yeah, outside. Like, or na dwór, or in Krakow na pole. A do you have word pole in, uh, do you have something like pole? Well, if you say in Bulgaria, uh, na pole, which means it's like, I'm going to the fields. Yeah, pole. In, po in Polish it means the same. Pole means field. But you use it to go outside. We say, outside we say vn. Vn. So, ah, like, na vn, in to pole. out. out. I know, Nothing. like in po in Russian, is von, is von, you know, von. But it's in Polish when you say von to somebody. If if I would say to a student uh, von uh, from the classroom, he would be upset because von is uh, rude, it's offensive. Yeah, like it's, it's, yeah. But <laughs> if you say von to somebody, it's like get out, leave. But if you say I'm going na von, I'm going outside. Ah, okay, okay, understand. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so. So, uh, um, okay, so it was, I think it was very nice. So maybe the second category now, like, let's try again, Victor. What do you think? Uh, a, a different category or maybe, more maybe words from the same? Different category, the same as you, as you wish. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, how about the uh, school? What school? Yeah. Uchiliste. How do you say it in Polish? Uchiliste. Ah, Uchiliste. Uchiliste means uh, means learning or teaching. School. A school. Schola. 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 Okay. So, schola, uh, school, uchiliste. Um, chemical. Chemical. Mm-hmm. Or I'll add another one. Uh, Molif. Molif. Um, uh, let me think of Bulgarian words. Ah, Daska. Uh, and. Uh, Predmet. Okay, so maybe now Zimovit or Jakub. Zimovit. Can you repeat the last word? Predmet. Predmet. I think it's the easiest. Prosty. Prosty, łatwy. In, in Polish, easy means prosty. Prosto, prosto, prosto. Uh, prosty in Bulgarian means dumb or uh, dull. Mm. Or simple. Like mm-hmm. you, it can be insulting somebody is prost, yeah. dumb, or it could be just like something is uh, simple, not yeah. easy. Easy is less no. Less no. Ah, in Polish is lekko. Le- like easy means lekko. 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 Lekko in Bulgarian is light. In Polish the same because lekko it has two meanings: uh, easy and light. You can mm-hmm. say like this back is uh, like like you know light and like like cat like like key and something and like this test is uh easy is like is like key test you know okay yeah we use uh, leco as easy for for like um for like tasks like uh easy work like a or mm-hmm. an easy test like test but uh, lesson lesson is easy yeah lesson yeah i understand uh what does it mean these three words uh, I have no idea. I mean, the third is uh, biurko in Polish. You said deska or something like that. Deska, yeah. Yeah, and it's I think the deck. Deck the I, school. I think deska, like deska in Polish. Deska is uh, how to say it in, in English. This word deska in, in yeah. How to say in English like this. Deska in, in, in English. Literally, it's a, it means plank, literally. Yeah, but you, I think maybe it means uh, blackboard. blackboard. Yeah, in Bulgarian, in the classroom, uh, blackboard. Czerna deska. In Polish, tablica. tablica. Yeah, or tablica, yeah, we say that too. Not ah, tablica. Ah, okay. And predmet, predmet, you move it, predmet. It's I easy. have no idea. Kuba, Kuba, predmet, maybe you know. It's easy, I think it's the easiest. Może przed lekcjami czy coś? Przedmiot. A, Amelia? A przedmiot. Przedmiot, no przedmiot, przedmiot, przedmiot. Przedmiot, przedmiot. <laughs> exactly. Like a subject, yeah? Yeah. And, and this first one, chemical, moliv, moliv, chemical. There are, these are two, two different words, yeah? Chemical, you know, yeah, because I just thought chemical would be too easy, so... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's... But it's they're not the same. It's, there are things to uh, do pisania, to, yes. to, to, to write. P, p, in Polish, pisać, pisać. Uh, yeah, uh, you just reminded me, another thing in Bulgarian, we don't have infinitive form of verbs. Uh, we have. So, you have. <laughs> Yeah, al- always in Polish, infinitive ends with chi. Chi like pisać, yeah. write, to write, uh, czytać, to read, uh, pić, yeah. to drink, jeść, to eat, and others. You know. We don't have any infinitive forms. Mm-hmm. So it's only the six persons, and we want, when we want to identify a verb, we use the first person singular to say mm-hmm. the verb. So if you say uh, jeść, right, to eat, mm-hmm. we would say yam. Which yeah. is the first person singular. There in is po- no infinitive form. In Polish, we say yem, ja yem. Like the first person is yem. So, not the same. Uh, so, so the, this first word are, I think, in Polish, ołówek or długopis, like uh, pen or uh, 
Pen or pencil? Yeah, pencil. yeah the, the first one is pen, chemical, chemical, ink, mm -hmm. uh, pen. Mm -hmm. And the second one is pencil, molif. Mm -hmm. Okay, 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 Victor. So I think and I have an idea at yeah. the ending. Maybe okay, okay. we say some hard words. Oh, okay. In Bulgarian and in Polish, and we will test each other how we repeat. To repeat. Tak, że powtórzyć, tak? No tak, na przykład. Ja chyba swoje imię nazwisko po prostu. Dobra, okay, dobra, okay. So you can start. O, amańce językowe. Nie wiem, czy to ma jakiś odpowiednik. Tongue twisters, tongue twisters. I think in English. So Amelia, you can start. Tongue twister in Polish and Victor must repeat this tongue twister. Okay. First one will be grzegrzuka. Is that a musical instrument? <laughs> no, but you must repeat, no. Victor. Do you try to repeat? Grzegrzuka. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah, very good. Very good. good. Yeah. It was nice. And what does it mean? I don't know exactly what does it mean. I mean, what is Grzegrzuka? I think it's a kind of bird, but, ah, I, but I don't know. Spe species of bird, you know. But I don't know exactly what or how it looks like. OK, very good, Amelia. And uh, him of it, string tw uh, tongue twister for uh, Victor. Grzegorz Brzęczyszczykiewicz, uh, powiat Łękołody. <laughs> Again, maybe, repeat. Uh, Grzegorz Brzęczyszczykiewicz, that, that's, I think it's enough. <laughs> Grzegorz, Grzegorz Brzęczyszczykiewicz. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost. <laughs> uh, I've heard some Polish tongue twisters. My, my grandfather uh, has one favorite about uh, uh, I think it's a bumblebee or something is making noise in the grass. Something like that. <laughs> Every yeah. time I tell him I like Polish and he tells me that and he convinces me otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Very nice. And Victor, maybe you will give us some... Uh, um, there aren't really that many tongue twisters, but I can give you something that uh, pretty much every Slavic language speaker has trouble pronouncing. So, can you pronounce the word "buster"? Buster. 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 See, it's not so easy, but it's straightforward. Yeah. Buster. Oh, uh, what does it mean? It starts with P or B because I can uh, hear. Buster. 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 I don't know. <laughs> I give up. It means colorful, but uh, a lot oh. of people have trouble pronouncing uh. Oh. Like Bulgaria, you say Bulgaria or Bulga, it's Bulgaria. Bulgaria, yeah, yeah, this, this letter. Yeah, it's, it's, for Polish, it's quite dif difficult, I think. Well, there's a lot of uh, Polish people here in Sofia, and I've asked them personally how they handle the language, and most of them have always told me that it's the writing that they have trouble with. So um, if you want to visit Bulgaria, you know, you, your students and everybody else watching, check out my uh, Golly Plot YouTube channel so you can see uh, maybe just how to easily at least learn how to read Cyrillic because if you do and you come here eventually or any other Slavic country, you'll see that a lot of the words are the same as long as you're able to read them. Yeah, yeah of course, of course. So thank you. Uh, merci, Victor. Blah, <laughs> <laughs> Tak, dziękuję, dziękuję i Zemicu, I hope, dziękuję, yeah, tak. I hope uh, maybe we we'll see you again uh, or maybe in Bulgaria. Maybe. <laughs> who knows, do zobaczenia who knows, później. Who knows? Yeah, do zobaczenia. So do bye. zobaczenia. Do, 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 do widzenia. Do widzenia. Do widzenia. Do widzenia. Do widzenia. Do widzenia. Do widzenia.